we gotta check out this situation, man. Apparently, the allegations on Mr. Beast is crazy. Mr. Beast just destroyed his career. All right. East has just been exposed in a viral video and it is getting bad. So last time we talked about the Chris Tyson situation where Mr. Beast's childhood friend Chris was exposed for talking to minors. He's like in 2024, the main thing is talking to minors. Like everybody and their mama getting exposed, bro. Me? Never me though. <laughs> Could never be me. They not like us. <laughs> he probably ain't minor. Like, come on, bro. You know what it is, bro. In very Kendrick weird ways Vincity. and being a PDF file. But it turns out Jimmy also has plenty of skeletons in his closet. A recent video by Dogpack404 has gone viral titled, I worked for Mr. Beast and he's a fraud with some Ooh, serious allegations that. made towards Mr. Beast. A whole hour video and a full book, like, what? Yo, this is like them detective like boards. She got everything like down pat. <laughs> Faking his videos, Crazy. promoting gambling to children, conducting wow. illegal lotteries, wow. rigging games and videos which involve millions of dollars in prize wow. money, which is also a crime, not giving out the prizes that he promises, Damn. false advertising, exploitation, and, and a whole lot of stuff, right? Mr. Beast, not Mr. Beast. Show up in the YouTube search bar for several days despite having 200k. They trying to aid. Hey, listen, you two, don't start that, bro. Don't cover him up, man. This is your golden child, man. This is crazy for you two, too. Like, I ain't gonna lie. This is their golden egg. If he goes down, they take a hit, too. Views, which is seriously suspicious and very much looks like a shadow ban. So let's get into this video, break this down, starting with the allegation that Mr. Beast is faking videos. Also, if, if what we had to film was scripted, you know, because what we do is not scripted, so you have to plan for a bunch of variables that you can't control, blah, blah. If what we did was scripted, Holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. Have you ever faked a video? <laughs> so bro just said this. Bro literally just gave it away, man. Yes, it is. Like, listen, I would be surprised. No. But this train track is CGI. These bus wheels are CGI. This explosion is fake. This shredder is CGI. This car is digitally lifted. This pit is fake. This guy is fake. Uh, this raccoon is a paid actor. Sure, this island costs more than a dollar. This city is not abandoned. These buildings are CGI. Right. And that's your only way out. You can literally get an Uber to the airport for $20. That's not a lurker. It's just a guy. This whole room is fake. This contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. Beast. They had him died through this fake door twice. This line is scripted. This action is scripted. Uh, in fact, pretty much all the videos with Mac are scripted. God damn! Oh, GG's, bro. <laughs> back to back to back to back. What we did was scripted. Holy this stuff would be easy to pump out. Okay, so that was really a shocked, really quick bro. montage. I'm shocked. Nah, I am shocked. Let me let me not lie, bro. I thought Mr. Beast was a good one. He was one of the real OG, like, you know what I'm saying? But now I really think about it, like, the industry, the way the industry is, man, the way it's moving, bro. Even the YouTube, man. I'm not even, like, for real. I just stuff that Mr. Beast is fake. Well, I and I think it's anywhere. pretty obvious to most adults Raccoon is watching that insane. Mr. Beast <laughs> is faking his videos. And he clearly lies about it. Because every video has those incredibly high stakes all up into the end. And obviously, Mr. B spends millions of dollars on his videos. So he's not going to pick somebody who like quits in two minutes. Or True. he's not going to make the challenge end in two minutes. I already kind of guessed that though. Manipulate the events. Manipulate the contestants. So that they're not going to quit halfway. And it's going to be neck and neck all the way up till the end for that. Like why give a million dollars to a random when uh, you can give it to your friends? To be this guy called like, Mac, right? So Mac was made out to be this random person that is trying so hard to win these challenges and everyone is emotionally invested in his success. Well, it turns out in reality, he's just a Mr. Beast employee living in a mansion and he purposely stalls out the videos to make it intense. Let's talk about Mac for a second. Wow. Will die. Do you understand that? <laughs> I found public records showing that Mac moved from California to Greenville, North Carolina, where Jimmy is located, back in August 2023, two months before he appeared as a contestant. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, this is around the time when Mac started working full-time on the editing team at Mr. Beast. Also, he didn't just move into any old house, he moved into a million dollar mansion. His 6,000 square foot million dollar mansion comes with a movie theater and- Hey, man, hey, hey, Jimmy. You could have just reached out to me. Like, I would have done that, bro. I would trust you, and I would have been a great actor. I would have really put some, like, you know what I'm saying, emphasis into it. Maybe not so much anymore. The allegation is kind of crazy. We're going to get, you know, I've heard some crazy stuff now. You could have just hollered. I'm, I'm a stunt double. You know, I could be a stunt, I could be a stunt man. Like, I could do all the crazy stuff. I could make the videos entertaining. Seven. Could have reached out to me, though. Like, <laughs> on. I mean, my life's changed now. 
yeah, I'm sure that $800,000 is really gonna change your life. Max, this is a nice car. Tell me, where are we right now? Uh, we're in the place that uh, we drove to a few minutes ago. Uh, Mac, let's, let's cut the shit here. What have you been doing for like the last year? A lot of family stuff. What kind of secretly where you're from? Like, uh, you know, playing catch with my dad and... uh, for a year. What do you? How do you make money? <laughs> Okay, so this is pretty much confirmed that Mac is an employee, meaning if he wins or loses a challenge is pre-planned out by Mr. Beast. And Mr. Beast is artificially introducing these stakes in the video, and you might be saying, oh well, he's doing it for entertainment to entertain the viewer, who actually cares? Well, then you shouldn't be saying that your videos aren't fake because you're lying to your audience. Yeah, that's wrong. And this leads to several other ethical issues. But... Well, it's the YouTube game, bro. You can't even really hate on it for real. It's the YouTube game, bro. Most is fake, and y'all don't even know. Like all them gold digger, I don't know, bro. They they be fake as hell. Because when you introduce contestants that you aren't paying, right, and you get together sort of random people or YouTubers who are not part of your bullshit pre-decided scheme, then they are actually getting tricked because they're going into these challenges thinking they can actually win a million dollars, but they can't because you're controlling everything behind the scenes and the odds are not fair and are heavily stacked in the favor of one of your friends or one of your employees and shit like that. And yeah, that's obviously messed up. Now, Dogpack goes on to show Mr. Beast even fakes his own challenges, like, you know, being stranded at sea. During this time lapse on the fourth day of seven days stranded at sea, you can clearly see there's no one in the shelter. These are their empty beds. But after a hard cut, magically five people are awake and two of the boys have bright yellow raincoats that they didn't have when it rained uh... on day two. And after standing the whole night completely soaked, Makes you spend the night soaked, Jimmy, you slept on the production. I lie, listen. It's kind of interesting, bro. I see how all this is made. It's like a real life movie. It's like a movie, bro. Like now that we know it's fake, it's kind of more interesting actually. Cause like, how do you fake all this? What's the CGI? Where's the, I'm a, now when I watch a Mr. B's video or when I do, when next I do, I want to see where all, I'm, I'm gonna analyze it more in depth, you know? It's ironic because this is one of the videos where they claim that they don't fake things. But no, we have to be the real channel that doesn't fake things. Uh, in this video, this wink was added in post. In fact, 58 was actually on the far opposite side of the room from 42 and he just didn't hear him. This whole revenge storyline was added in post. Multiple shots show how timers are edited in post. Timers are edited in post. Timers are edited in post. They also manipulated contestants' Damn. audio in post. So we got fifth and man in general, if anything happens last second, it's fake. Or if you can hear someone's voice but can't see their mouth, oh, the audio could easily be added in post. I literally think I'm gonna kill- Okay, so this is pretty good evidence that he's found. And honestly, I'm okay with the CGI and stuff. I understand you need that for visuals, but making people say things that they didn't say, that is just completely fake. And you know, editing timers and stuff, I mean, you can do that or whatever if it's a TV show and stuff, but don't say it's real then. And faking your own challenges is obviously just pathetic because, you know, when Mr. Beast would uh, supposedly spend 24 hours or 72 hours buried underground or whatever, I had a little hope in my heart that- Those I didn't believe. Those videos I didn't believe at all. Okay, at least those are real, right? And Mr. Beast was so insistent that they were all real, but I remember in the back of my head, I was like, oh, Mr. Beast is such a busy person, such a CEO, hyper-optimizing everything, and he's gonna spend three days buried underground or some stupid shit. So obviously I was right there and these challenges aren't real. He's probably just, you know, filming that part, instantly getting out, chilling outside or whatever. But I'm uh -oh. surprised that everybody has gone on with it. Like all these friends and all these employees, not one person had a peep out of them. Maybe he's making them sign NDAs. NDA, NDA, man. So whatever, but I'm surprised it actually took this long. And I knew he'd be exposed by somebody close to him, like a former employee. But um, yeah, man, this is the downfall of Mr. B starting right now. I mean, it's not like he's ever rigged the results of a challenge. That would be impossible because he films with hundreds of random subscribers, right? Wrong. Let's look at this video. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. I actually recognize a lot. Damn. Damn. A lot of people in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. So yeah, the random You put your girlfriend in there, bitch. I actually recognize a lot of people in this video, including Jimmy. So girl, his own girlfriend. Yeah. So yeah, the random subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. They're almost always local to Mr. Beast and oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees or just the employees themselves. And when they do pull someone from outside of North Carolina, it's usually somebody who's in the industry, who's camera trained, who has built a following. <laughs>
This would be something we should do. If I want to get his rich and famous family. The results family. of this video were completely <laughs> scripted. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, it would have been a PR problem if the boys had won by a lot. And because so many of the female contestants were Mr. Beast employees who got out immediately, production stepped in to actually make the results of the challenge closer. Uh, you can actually see some of this happen on camera. Like go on his head. Oh yeah, he's getting the cooked, boys, bro. Ten thousand dollars to leave, cooked. which is twice as much as the actual prize money. All right, so essentially everything is fabricated. See, the problem here is that this stuff is borderline illegal. Because you know, what if I'm one of the contestants that actually wasn't bought and paid for, right? I imagine at least one out of these a hundred person is like an actual real person here, right, and not just. Uh, friends and family so what if i'm here spending three days and nights here trying to win some money and i'm taking a break from work or whatever and then i get eliminated and i'm like oh damn i didn't win but then i realize after watching this video that the other 90 percent of the contestants are just your friends your girlfriend your whatever the heck and they were going to win anyways and you're scamming the legit people who came there to win some money that is fraud. some really scummy behavior that's some fraud and behavior I, man. I gotta i gotta take the l here guys you guys remember rosanna pancino she was this youtuber who has been calling out mr beast on twitter for faking his hide and seek challenge and um she essentially said that she was supposed to place maybe like second place in the hide and seek or something like that and you know everyone was like oh you're being petty who cares who actually cares right and i even criticized her before but uh after looking into it a little bit more she was right if she thought she could actually you know may win some money there or thought it was legit and mr beast was rigging the results or whatever somebody actually broke the rules of the challenge and stuff and uh, they weren't called out, but she was actually uh, eliminated. And I've defended him a lot of times. YouTube may take this video down to cover from Mr. Beast. If they do, hey man, there's some dark things going on in the background, bro. You know, I don't think they would do that, but like, that's an interesting theory, man. You got and people who would criticize his happen, charity and stuff, but there is just overwhelming evidence now cover up is that crazy. Jimmy is shady as F. So I'm going to apologize. I'm sorry, Rosanna. But anyways, moving on. I mean, there's worse things that you could get, you know, caught out for than like faking your videos and stuff. A lot worse. He could be a, he could be like his best friend there. Talk to minors. To Mr. Beast's real time video, which I knew would like, that was the instant one. Where nah, I was that would be people, crazy. Like this is fake. Like, there's no way. This is a real time video, meaning that time elapses the same in the video as it does in real life. Now, immediately the intro is sped up. <laughs> <laughs> and the timer is clearly added in post and he clearly touches the laser here but whatever let's assume that it's all real time when he reaches the bottom floor he has to turn these water valves now you can tell that these valves aren't actually connected to anything because the water flows out in an instant and it happens when he's not even touching the valve the contestant also goes back to the first valve unaware that anything had happened and he's still able to spin it so the valve seems to spin freely and isn't actually connected to the flow of water so you could assume that producers might be off camera with remote switches to trigger the flow of water. And assuming they've tested this, the producers might know how long it takes for the water to clear out of the room. So they could sort of decide on the fly how many turns of the valve it takes or just when to trigger the water in general to make the results close. And in traditional media, this kind of rigging is actually completely illegal. On any kind of a game show where there is a prize, you have to have somebody that ensures that it's fair. They are out there essentially to make sure that we don't do something that would favor one player or one tribe. I paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave. They came to my area many times and I was in the smallest cupboard. <laughs> okay, so pretty much every video that ends at 0 .001 seconds before finishing and it's like super close, obviously it's fake and Mr. Beast has fabricated that for you making the video more interesting it, because in reality it would probably end like five minutes before and randomly yep. and that would just be lame with no tension. Pretty sure this Anybody is, this is not following the though. law. So Mr. Beast needs Saul Goodman ASAP because if any of these people try decide to this out before the keep in mind he's reacting to a Darman video but it applies to the Mr. Beast one as well which is why it's edited. The problem with these sort of giveaways is that it's extremely shady and it's never sort of confirmed that who's actually generosity. Honestly really good points here I'm really shocked. That Listen man this Beast situation is kind of crazy well, that's enough of that though. I'm done. 